This is it. It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to Dre Anywhere the Sports, where I bring you the latest breaking news and major sports stories concerning my favorite teams, the Los Angeles Lakers, Dallas Cowboys, Barcelona Football Club, Chelsea Football Club, Champions of Europe, London is Blue, my home team, Harborview, and of course, Jamaica's National senior teams the reggae boys and reggae girls being that i'm jamaican of course please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't clicked that like button make sure you do so on every video big up and welcome back this video is brought to you by Kane rose by keisha if you want to get your hair done in the fort lauderdale south florida west palm beach area even as far as Miami, soft locks, fox locks, sewing, butterfly locks, rope twists, stitch braids, natural styles and more. Not less braids, yes, passion twists also. Cane Rose by Keisha on Instagram. Hit her up. Oh yeah, by the way, that's females only. Males 16 and under. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're listening, all over the world. Welcome back to Dre Anywhere Sports. This video will consist of Harborview's performance in their opening Jamaica National Premier League encounter versus newcomers Chapatan Maroons of Clarendon. Goals were scored by Harborview in the 41st and 88th minute by Nicholas Hamilton and Ronaldo Wellington, respectively. Wellington was in fact the captain on the day. Starting 11 for Harborview. I'm all night. Ryan Wellington, that's the captain on the day and the goal scorer. O'Shane Staple, Orderland Harding, Jashan Anglin, Jamon Shepard. Colorado Murray, Nicholas Hamilton, Ronaldo Robinson, Romaine Brackenridge, and number 11, Timar Lewis. Now, people, Harborview was a bit sluggish in the first half, gave the Clarendon newcomers a few chances on goal, but the second half was a masterclass display of leadership skills and commanding in the defensive third marshaled by of course Amal Knight the veteran and the national goalkeeper now looking at the total stats shots how of you have 20 shots compared to eight for Chapitan Maroons shots on target eight were on goal for Harborview one on target for Chapitan Maroons in which Amal Knight parried and then recovered the rebound. Fouls, 15 for Harborview and 8 for Chapitan Maroons. Yellow cards, 2 for Harborview, 4 for Chapitan. Red cards, both teams finished with the same amount of players, 11 as they started. Offsides, 3 offsides. One was a very iffy late call on Hamilton. VAR, if that was in the JPL, hmm. That would have been a play on. One for Chapitan Maroons. Corners were eight for Harborview, one for Chapitan. Saves, six brilliant saves by the Chapitan keeper, including one by the defender, in which, again, if VAR was in play, that looks suspect to be a handball, in which the Timar Lewis rounded the goalkeeper and chipped it on goal. Looked like it hit the defender's arm about four yards out on the way to goal. Save one for Amal Knight. Like I said, a brilliant save. Possession, Aberview were 59% compared to 41% for Chapitan Maroons. Again, I must say, commanding second half display from Harborview. Colorado Murray was himself right where he left off from being finals MVP. He had a very commanding role up top for Harborview. 
created space for the oncoming Nicholas Hamilton numerous occasions, got in on goal, but brilliant goalkeeping from the opposing goalkeeper kept the score respectable. Congrats to Harborview defense, clean sheet, two goals on the offensive side. Now they turn their attention next weekend as the champions looked to regain their crown. One view. Now, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to Dre Anyweather Sports. Tell a friend, tell a friend, to tell a friend or a family member about Dre Anyweather Sports. And like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all those who have done so. Oh, those who haven't done so yet, just take a time out. It's free. Go ahead, hit the like button, share, subscribe, drop a comment or a thumbs up. Also, I want to take time out to give um, Talawa TV a big shout out there over there in the UK. Big up Crystal, um, doing great coverage over there for the reggae girls and on behalf of the reggae girls too. Number one trendsetter when it comes to that coverage there. Um, she also um, educates us on happenings concerning players that play in the UK and around the world too. Great stuff over there on Talawa TV. So give her a check out people and give her a subscribe too. I like her videos. Also want to give a shout out to my fellow YouTubers, Coach's Desk. Big look, doing big things over there. Weekend Triple Treat. I'm part of the panelists. Also, Reggae Boys Commentary, Trendsetter, Simon Preston, Big Up Yourself, doing great things also for TVJ, Fourth Official, Rome, Big Up Yourself, Man New Fan, Long Time, Big Up. Also, I Am Sure Sports, Manning's Man, Big Big Arsenal Fan and Supporter, have a multiple programs over there covering all sports in and around Jamaican community. Now, also, another Arsenal man, military Guna. Big up yourself. Breaking news all the time concerning the reggae boys and Jamaica's football. Formula Sports, there in Jamaica also, covering football and sports in and around Jamaica. IMAX Football, another one. Big up yourself, JD, covering sports, English Premier League, local league, concerning and around the reggae boys, big up yourself, IMAX. Ryan LFC, big, big Liverpool fan and supporter over there in Canada. Another Jamaican, of course, big up yourself, always giving us interviews with reggae boys and uh, news stories concerning around the reggae boys football program and team. Again, remember, like, share, subscribe. Bless up everyone. This is Dre from Dre Anywhere the Sports. Until next time, I'm out. Looking forward to it.